Okay, it's time for the Kyle Beats plugin, the moment you've all been waiting for. Okay, let's just take a look around first. A lot of bass sounds. Bells and vibes. Okay, that's a lot of bells and vibes. FX, that's not a lot of FX. Hits and stabs. It'd be funny if it's just like, Ugh! like shit like that. Lead, that's a lot of lead sounds. Misk poke, what is that? Well, this sounds like shit. Evolution, orchestral, pads. Okay, there's a good amount of sounds in here, it looks like. Okay, can I, can I resize the plugin? You cannot resize the plugin. How do I do the fucking, the scale thing? I'm not seeing that. Okay, here we go. You click harmony here. This is not intuitive at all. I can't even tell which chord I have selected. It doesn't, it doesn't show you. It doesn't light up or anything. Okay, so this, this has potential. I'm just gonna try to lay down some notes. We'll just draw in some notes here real quick. See if we can make something decent. Okay, we'll go C, E, A, B. Let's try to do it like half as often too, again. I like how I said lean in to see the plugin. Your big ass head is blocking the synth. Okay, I'll move it. Needs half time, needs half time, needs half time. <laughs> Sounds are not the greatest. Select the note here. You can change the chord. So I can just go around and press. It'd be nice if I could just do it randomly. So that actually does make this useful. Oh, that's kind of good. Now we need a better sound. Those are good chords. It should let you convert this to MIDI too. I'm not a big fan of these sounds. Like, I like this chord progression thing I'm using. Oh, I changed the first one on accident. Whoops. Can I undo? Is there no undo? How do you undo? Is there no undo in this? Like, or do I have to like control Z and hope I don't have the fucking... Oh. See, that's why I hate doing control Z when you have a plugin open, because if you, if it's not, so, if the window isn't selected or sometimes it just does it anyways, it'll, it'll undo what you did in the DAW, which sometimes might be like you putting in the plugin. Please, for the love of God, there, there's no undo. Oh my God. There's no fucking undo. There's no undo. <laughs> this is insane. There has to be a manual or something for this, right? Nope. Okay, I'm gonna try to rewrite these, these chords here. I'm gonna try to write a good chord progression and hopefully I don't fuck up a single thing because I won't be able to change it. Can I move the notes around? Oh, you can, okay, you can click them. Nice. I'm just gonna manually change this one, I think. Hmm, that kind of works. Oh no, I didn't, oh, I didn't mean to change that one. What chord was that? He done fucked up, dude. There's no undo button. There is actually no undo button. So if you make a single mistake in this, does control Z work? No, it just undoes what I did in my DAW. I mean, send him feedback, brother. Or I could just do the review. Why is it the reviewer's job to send feedback after they've already released the plugin? Like I'm not beta testing this shit. I'm a paying customer. Let me do that guy's inversion there. Oh no, I changed that chord. Dude, this is so frustrating. Like, if you make a single mistake in this, like, it's you just gotta start over, basically. Damn, your hand get fucked up from skating. Yeah, I had I had a fucking key, um a band aid on it, but it wasn't sticking because of sweat. Gonna put down some drums or something. I got my own drum loops, so don't worry, guys. It's fine that I'm using a drum loop. My opinion so far is this thing is not that good. It's like too hard to use and it's since it has no undo button, like if you do make something good, like you can fuck it up so easily. And like the sounds suck. It's too hard to fucking use this. Like you might as well just use scalar or something. So like more only the good stuff. Dude, just explore the shitty presets. Presets aren't great. Try to fuck around and find out. Maybe get a refund, bro. I'm gonna I'm gonna use it more to get a like do the review. I'm gonna try layer some sounds here. I'm not really even a big fan of this fucking progression, to be honest. Even if I play different notes. I don't know. I feel like I'm trying so hard to make this work. I hate this, dude. Throw a scale on. One, five, six, four.
It's like impossible to make something that sounds decent in this. You like that? Which one? I don't know. I can't go back now, to be honest. <laughs> Like, I, I can tell they tried, but there's just not enough testing on this. That's not bad. These sounds are like the real problem now. I feel like the only way to make this good is to just put fucking effects on it, like other effects. <laughs> like the workflow is kind of hard to work with, but like the biggest problem is the sounds. The sounds kind of, eh. So I made it pretty good, but I had to use Infiltrator. Infiltrator 2 is so good, it can make anything sound good. Maybe a pad would be a good layer with this. That sounds kind of cool. Only thing is, you can't really write a melody with this. Like the like, all I can do is like arps and uh, chords, basically. How should I write a melody? I guess I could try myself. If not, I could use something else. I'm gonna try to use Sandbox again, though. This is like so unintuitive, you know? What are all these things around it here? It needs some drip on it. I don't. I sadly don't have drip on on my computer right now because I reformatted it. I actually used to keep all the all the like not favorite plugins before for situations like this, for like the meme. So I think my best bet for this would be to use Captain or something, cause I don't know, I'm not really feeling writing a melody to this, but maybe this might be able to do it for me. Is there an attack release knob at least? On Sandbox there is, but it's not Sandbox's fault that it's ringing out forever. So I don't know what scale we're in. Are we in C major? So, okay, so it's playing a C minor on the first one. <laughs> It's not bad. It's not amazing, but it's not bad either. It's, it's functional. No, I like this because you can like generate melodies in it. Like I didn't really have any good ideas for a melody. And I usually what I'll do is I'll generate like a melody with it if I'm using this and then I'll like tweak it a bit, you know, like until I get what I'm looking for. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna send this to Sandbox now. So MIDI from... Making these sounds. The one was just basically a square wave. I'm into this one. <laughs> I want to throw something on this real quick. We need something to make it suck less. <laughs> Just remove Sandbox and use something else. No, no, it's what we're doing today. We're using Sandbox, okay? That's a mosquito. All right, let me just throw on some AOAs real quick and we'll move on. Okay, we'll make another one real quick with Sandbox here. We'll see if we can actually do it without throwing Infiltrator on. Let me just stop the rain real quick. Okay. 